Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 1st of June and it's uh, 3.30 in the afternoon and today I've got a diecast haul video for you. Um, this is going to be quite a lengthy video because I've got a fairly large box of them on the floor and uh, quite a lot on the desk here including some that I want to show you that I bought some uh, reproduction parts for. Um, I've basically got this split into like four different groups on the desk. I've got what I've bought from the diecast guy, a few other car boot items, charity shop items and then the vehicles I've bought the reproduction parts for. Um, I'm going to start the charity shop finds. I've got an empty box here that I can put them in. And, uh, I'll try and get through this as quick as possible, but like I said, I've got a large box on the floor. So this could be quite a lengthy video. In fact, it probably will be quite a lengthy video. <coughs> so I've got these uh, from various charity shops in town. Got Matchbox, Scania, Tractor Unit um, for the Shell Tanker. We've got a Matchbox, a Humvee. Beach Patrol written on it. Um, there's some here where I actually can remember where I've got them from. Got a little van here. No idea what it is, I just like the style of the van. I think it's made by... I can't quite see it, I don't know if it's Motor Max or... Um, I think it's either a Citroen or a Peugeot. Just another no name brand, same with that one. Just trying to make it up because it was like three for a quid, I believe. And a Hot Wheels police car. Dinky locomotive. Yep, it's an old dinky. <clears throat> Matchbox fire department helicopter. Uh, um, oh, I nearly forgot one another one. We've got a Matchbox uh, SUV here. These ones I actually found today, again, three for a pound, uh, three for a pound ones were out of the community shop. So we've got an Air France truck, couldn't find a plane unfortunately, KLM truck, a weird looking Reliant Robin, Just landed on its wheels. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels. I was not sure what sort of car it is. I've lost both me. I don't know how, but I have lost. No, I haven't. Because I've lost both my magnifying glasses, but I have actually just found one. And then have got this, which is. Mostly plastic, but it's about the same size for a model railway. And it's just landed upside down on a tool truck. I'm curious, I want to know what this uh, Hot Wheels car is. Oh! It's, um, looks like it's a fantasy type car from 2001. 40-something. There's this one which actually has absolutely no name on it, but I just liked it. It's, absolutely, it's not even a made in China on the bottom, it's just totally blank. And it 
feels like quite a nice, sturdy, robust little car. Right, the next ones I got from the Packed Animal Sanctuary. Apart from that one, actually, I just realised. I believe that's another random one from a charity shop. A little Hot Wheels truck with a motorcycle in it. What is it? Just Chevy Silverado. <clears throat> right, yeah, so the next six will be from the Pact Animal Sanctuary. I think some of these were a little bit overpriced for what they are, but they're an animal charity and I'll let them off. <laughs> so I've now got my third version of the kennel truck. So I haven't didn't have it in this colour. I've got it in two other shades of green. And this one's a very is um, very much a later version of it as well. Because it's got the slightly smaller super fast wheels on it. Smaller and fatter. Uh, can never remember what this is. That's it. The BMC 1800 Pininfarina. I've got a few iterations of that, but I didn't have this one. It's not the best example of it, but it's fine. I'm pretty certain I didn't have this uh, dumper in this particular colour scheme. I've got bent wheels. I've got it in red. I've got a few of them in red. I don't, I'm pretty certain I don't have it in the blue and yellow. I've got another Mustang Wildcat. I just can't resist them. In fact, I did resist one because there was two of these there. So I just had to one. <laughs> a uh, Leyland Merriweather. Fire tender minus its uh, ladder. It's not in too bad condition paint wise though, so I may try and find a repro ladder for that. Well, in fact, I do know that there's uh, one on eBay that you can get. And then they have this Corgi Toys Whiz Wheels Morris Marina Coupe. Not in great condition, but ideal resto project if someone wanted to. Uh, Restore it. I might, or I might just leave it as it is. So that's the charity shop finds. Now, the next one I actually got from North, the last North Walsham car boot sale, um, which is like two, three weeks ago now. So the next one, I don't think it's this weekend, I think it's next weekend. I think it's the second Sunday of every month. But that's all I found, it was just this um, folding tipper truck. And that's a Lone Star, I believe. Yeah, Lone Star Impy. I actually like that cab design. Uh, it wasn't last weekend, it was the weekend before I found these. I think it was the weekend before, it might not have been. We've got little Corgi Whiz Wheels Ford Camper. Now I know the um, Husky did these as well. I just noticed one of the bars is broken on that window. Uh, I've got these from the same guy. Not quite a nice example of this uh, military vehicle. I can't remember what they call it now. I know it's a rollomatic, so when you push it along the floor, the little radar on the roof will uh, spin. I can't actually see it on that one. I'll have to try and find one of my other ones and see if it's more readable. But I like it. That crane, the yellow plastic on the crane boom is a bit faded along with the red hook, but it's complete and the paint is in nice condition. I can't remember if I've actually got one. 
but no doubt if I have it hasn't got the hook because I always go missing on the crowns. Uh, this was actually only a pound. It was a Corgi um, Express bus. Pretty sure it is a American bus with Euro Express written on the side of it. Which doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> Oh, <clears throat> sorry about that, got a frog in my throat. And I've had this um, boxed Corvette for just two pounds. Box is a little bit on the tatty side, but I've actually seen a lot worse. <clears throat> so that's to be hung up in the bedroom. Right. Now we're on to the die cast guy, which it's a bit of a mix. Some items I got from him at Alisham Car Boot and the others I actually picked up just a couple of days ago when he sent me a few pictures through on Facebook of some um, recent stuff he picked up. Just going to open me Dr Pepper. Now, they do that to try and persuade you to uh, bin the bottle with the lid because apparently it's all recyclable, but I just find it bloody annoying. So we always do that. I don't know how to screw it back on the bottle and put it in the bin anyway, so it's just, I don't know, it just seems like an utterly pointless exercise. I digress though. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to try and do the ones first that I remember specifically buying at the car boot sale. That is one. It's not got the tracks, but I can buy reproduction tracks because I've actually got one of these, which has got red wheels, not yellow, um, but minus the cab. So we're going to keep that there for a minute. And then I've also bought this one. I've also got one here with uh, red wheels, not grey. Oh, this one's not got a tow hook on it either. It doesn't look like it ever had one. I don't see anywhere where one would have snapped off, so I'm just assuming that one didn't have one. But yeah, I got those from the last car boot sale I went to, uh, from the diecast guy. I also got these. I'm surprised I've remembered this as well as I have. So we've got... Very nice matchbox Mercury. It's one of the reasons I do like going to his stall and whatnot, because he really does have some nice examples. They're not always 100% mint, but I can get some very nice examples. Again, like this Far Chief car. Good condition, stickers on it. I mean, look at that base. How shiny that is. That's in good original condition as well. You can always tell if they've been restored or repainted because all you've got to do is just look at the rivets and you'll soon tell whether they've been drilled or not. Uh, then we've got this Corgi Rockets Aston Martin with the uh, detachable base which I do have the keys for somewhere. I think they're actually in my box of Corgi cars. Um, and Here's another one of those Merryweather fire engines. This one's got the stickers and a, a bent ladder. But a ladder. <clears throat> and something which I have... This is actually the first time I've seen one of these fire engines complete with ladder. The Corgi ERF ladder. Um, fire truck, not ladder. Complete with ladder. I've got a good half a dozen, maybe a couple more of these. And this is the only one with the original ladder. They are that rare. I you can find these quite easily at car boots and things and on eBay, but you try finding one with a ladder still attached. So I would like to find um, <clears throat> the other versions of this, because they did a few different variations of it. You know, the black plastic chassis, different wheels. This one's the uh, Whiz Wheels version, the Corgi Junior's Whiz Wheels version. Um, I've got a version with black windows and whatnot. We've got versions where this sort of area is all silver rather than just all red. 
Mm, I did a few versions, but none of them have got the ladder. Only this one. I have got this version. I was just trying to think if it was on the shelf or if it's in the box. I think it's in the box. But nowhere near as nice. This is almost mint. <clears throat> and I've got this lovely little corgi as well. The um, butcher's van. Back in the day when they had butchers. I apologise if I was just off on the edge of the camera there. My hand was actually blocking the screen so I couldn't see. <clears throat> yeah, so they're the ones I got fr um, from the diecast guy from the car boot sale. I'm trying to avoid putting these ones in the box because I don't want them to get marked. I've got a couple up here that go in here. And there, I'm going to put that <coughs> here. <coughs> that corgi van, I'm not that worried about. It's these little matchbox ones and the corgis that I want to keep safe. <coughs> I've got quite a bloody... I've got a frog in my throat. I think I've got a bloody pond full. Right then. <clears throat> so yeah, a couple of days ago he dropped me the message on Facebook, as I said a minute ago, with a few photos, asking, you know, did I see anything that I want and whatnot. And I said, yeah, I can see a few. Could I pop over the following day, actually? Yep. <clears throat> so he agreed to that, so that's what I did. So there's a mix of Dinky, Corgi, Matchbox, and I've got a couple of Tamikas and a Majorette. So, I'm going to start with the Dinkies, I think. And I wouldn't mind finding some more Dinkies of this era because these are lovely. So, we have got, I believe that's a Buick Riviera. It's hard to read the uh, painted bases on this. Yeah, Buick Riviera. 142 scale, I don't think you get a scale. Made for Meccano Limited. <laughs> this car is fitted with flexomatic independent suspension. Yeah. yeah. So each wheel will bounce on its own. <clears throat> Sorry, that, that's why I paused. I was just trying to read that. You see, it's not that easy to read. But there's the Buick Riviera from Dinky. <clears throat> and then we've got the Chevy Impala here, which... Is this fitted with it? No, it isn't. This has just got solid wheels. Yeah, Dinky Toys. Sales number as well stamped on here, made for Meccano Limited, made in Hong Kong. There we go. Probably my favourite out of the two. Not so much the colour, but I do like the Impalas. You know, very, very large American cars. In fact, because I'm 40 years old, when I think about America, this is the sort of cars that I think of, because, you know, they were all in the popular movies back when I was a kid. You know, big-ass sedans and wagons and whatnot. <coughs> Which I absolutely love. Uh, what else is dinky? That's dinky. So we've got some older dinkies here, and I'm pretty certain they've been... Uh, these two of them have been repainted. Let me just uh, someone on a um, Facebook group for Dinkies that I'm on also noticed it. But yeah, I'm pretty certain they're not the original. So I've got another 
Another three, four dinkies to go. So we've got a Studebaker Golden Hawk. So when you look at the base, it actually it does look like that base may have been popped off to me. I think. I'm not gonna you know, swear hands down, but this one looks the same. But it also looks like it has been repainted. I mean, they're good repaints, whoever did them, if they have been redone. Yeah, I'm pretty certain now, because I can't imagine on cars this old dinky would have painted the rear lights. Or the front lights. <laughs> <clears throat> so the yellow one, what was that one? That's the um, Studebaker President. And out of the two, I prefer the President. I just like the shape of that one better. And the grill. That's like a big grin. This <laughs> one that reminds me of. Just, it's got a big grin. And then we've got an Alfa Romeo. Coupe. 185, I think. It should be 135, but it looks like an 8 to me. Oh, I've lost the tyre off of that one. I'm sure it had the tyre. Unless I just didn't notice. It's got the wheels that steer as well. I, mean, I may have lost the tyre. I don't have to see if I can find them. I know you can get reproduction tyres and things on eBay. I just don't know what bloody size to get. Unless it fell off. quite partial to dinkies these days. I didn't used to be, but at the beginning of this year I thought, you know what, I don't have very many dinkies in my collection, so I would like to build up the dinky side of the collection. So I do see them, I do like to get them, and the diecast guy does get them in quite often, so I'm also quite partial to a car transport. <laughs> I wasn't going to go for this one, because I've already got one of these up on the corgi shelf. But then I thought, well, I don't have many transporters like this to display cars on. So, grabbed another one. Don't think... No, you can't detach the trailer. I don't think. The landing gear does fold down now. Oh, I see. You have to put the landing gear down. Huh. Interesting. So it stays latched on there until the landing gear drops. Sounds like a motor or something running out there. From a large truck or something. Oh, I didn't show you this one, did I? I put it in the box but didn't show it to you. The Zodiac, I think that's a Zodiac. Yeah, full Zodiac. I didn't notice till I got it home that the bonnet is not actually attached, so it should open, but it's a bit of a pain in the ass to get it to sit right, so I'm going to leave it. But the door's open. You know, boot lid opens as well. Yeah. I've got a feeling someone has repainted that. Fact, I'm about 99.9% .9 certain someone's repainted this, but again, it's not a dreadful job. I've seen a lot worse, so... Right. I'm going to stick with the Corgi themes. We've now got one that I can't remember what it is. Uh, Chrysler Imperial. And... I went until I got it home because I could hear it rattling and I was thought, what is that rattling? So I opened up the boot 
and inside it is a golf bag and some and a caddy, which you can actually set up. So it may not be in mint condition, but at least it's got the original um, golfing bag and caddy in the boot. Yeah, and apparently Corgi Club has just re-released this model as well. I've been tempted to join the Corgi Club. I don't know though. Right, we then got this one, Matchbox uh, Highway Rescue System, truck number four with a plough on the front. We're not certain, but we think you can actually detach the blade somehow. I'm just really not sure how you would do that. I'm going to say what truck this is. It's a Plymouth Trail Duster. It's got that bit like a tailgate on the back, but there's no way to latch it shut. It's just flapping about, which is a bit annoying. It does need a wash. But I don't want to submerge it into a sink of water because uh, I don't want the stickers to come off. Okay, there's an older Corgi. I've got no idea what the truck is. This bit tips. Um, but I'm not sure what it is. Is it like just a covered dumper or something? I thought I found this. It's an ERF Model 64G. And that's all it says. What I like about these older Korg is I actually like the wheels. I don't know why, I just really like that style of wheel. <clears throat> oh, I've forgotten another dinky as well. I'll do that one in a second. And I've got another comma van. It's the pol um, county police van this time, and it's missing the light bulb. Um, and the battery box in here is in very good condition, so I'm pretty certain it would work if I put a battery in a bulb in it. Now, um, I do have a um, assortment tray full of torch bulbs. I just can't find it at the minute. I don't know what I've done with it. It wasn't that long ago that I actually had it here in the lounge, so no idea where that's gone. Um, but both me and the diecast guy thought that the blue dome or red dome, whatever it was, was missing from that. But according to pictures I've seen, it didn't have one. It just had um, what they call a pre-focus bulb screwed in at the top, which I have, when I can find the bloody box. Right. Yeah, another dinky toys. Yeah, this one has definitely been repainted. Because I can see where it's been glued back together. But it's not a dreadful job. I should think I've done maybe some years ago now, but it's not a dreadful job. Let's have a look at these two Tamikas. They are pretty much in mint condition. I can't see a mark on them. What's this one? This is a Maserati Merrick SS made in Japan. Copyright 1978 Tomy. For those that don't know, Tamika is actually owned by Tomy. And they still make die cast today, although I think they're just predominantly for the Japanese market. So there's the Maserati. Again, I don't really want to put those in that box. I don't know what this one is. A Renault A310. Copyright 1978. Oh, I've just realised what it is now that I look at it. Yeah, I've heard that called the Renault Alpine as well. Majorette did one in a police form and an 
SOS form and whatnot. That one's the rally form. That's actually, I really do like to make they make some lovely looking little cars. I've got some older ones as well that are in quite rough shape though, unfortunately. Uh, the only major out he had there that I wanted. <laughs> this is actually quite an older one as well. With Volkswagen Beetle. The little matchboxes last, so I've got this and a corgi. Viking or Viking? I suppose it would be pronounced a Viking if you want to pronounce the W as a V, you know, the German way. Mercedes 0302 post bus. That's not a 176 scale bus. I believe it's smaller than that. I don't know, it is plastic, but it is a nice looking bus. Even if it is plastic. I don't mind the fact it's plastic. Right, now we've, oh, no. I have got a pretty much mint. Corgi, Rover SD1 in blue. Okay, now we can do all the matchboxes. So I'll put the ones that are not in as nice a condition first. So, I found a little cement truck that I didn't have. I can't remember, is that a Fodden? I think that's a Fodden. Yep. It's got some sun damage to the mixer barrel. Can you see that's a bit light faded there? Then if I roll it, you can see where the shade of orange gets darker and lighter. So it's definitely been in the sun somewhere. <clears throat> and we've got a little Jaguar. No, it just says Jaguar 3.4 litre. We've got a few of these, none of them are in, you know, super duper nice condition. I think this one's in the best condition out of all of them. Uh, this is one that I don't think I had. A little Ford Thames Trader recovery truck. And, uh, AA and RAC Matchbox Carriages Breakdown Services It's got remains of it's got most of the hook there the actual hook bit is broke off it though And then I didn't know Matchbox did this I've got the uh, big blue version of this you know the Super Kings version but not this dinky little yellow one Complete with driver, I've just realised. That's not in bad condition either, considering. Are you serious? That's twice today I filmed a YouTube video right here in the lounge because I did the barricade lamp one first. And both times I've had a siren go past. <laughs> anyway. Got this uh, front loader as well. They do a big Super Kings version, you know, with the swivel loader. Apparently, this was something the military used. Um, but my, I've got a couple of these which are orange, but not a yellow one. I didn't know a yellow one existed. But uh, here it is. It looks like this tyre was glued on at some point and it's come off again. Right, now these ones, they did cost me a wee bit more because they are in extremely good condition. Like this ice cream van, which has got all the original stickers on it. And original paintwork. 
This is a hundred times better than all the other turds that I've got in the collection. I just thought it would be nice, as I had the opportunity to get a few of these nicer old Lesneys, that I would um, take it, you know. And then I've got the Vauxhall Victor here, and I'm pretty certain my other one's missing the tailgate. That one's in nice condition. Sitting these ones on the very top. I'll put the ones up here on the very top as well. Uh, this one's got a few marks on it, but again, it's a very nice Ford Anglia. Again, ten times better than the other one I've got. Probably, probably oddly, this is actually my uh, favourite, because it's got the original baggage on the roof, a little Fiat. I have got probably about another four of these are all in need of some serious restoration work and you can get the um, reproduction luggage on eBay but uh, Fiat 1500 I was just trying to remember what it was but I've actually got an original one you see I did say to the diecast guy you know you can get reproduction parts on eBay but the problem is because he mostly buys to sell on there wouldn't be any profit in it for him. Not by the time you've, you know, spent three or four quid on the part, which it is, um, postage, and then your own time and effort to like restore the vehicle and put the part on it. It's not financially worth it, is it? It's great if you're a collector like me. You just want to restore one for your own collection. It's great for that. But, uh, I don't think you could make any money on it. Right. I told you this was going to be a long vehicle, because a long vehicle. <laughs> I don't believe I just said that. A long video. We haven't even got to that box yet. Might actually do this in two parts. So I'll upload the second part after this one. I don't know. Anyway, next lot of models are models that I already had in my collection, but I've bought reproduction parts for. Uh, most of them, it's just rubber tracks because they're like bulldozers and things that were in pretty nice condition but were missing the tracks because they either got pulled off by kids or they were just so old they just went hard brittle and broke um, before we get into them I've got an original condition Mark 1 ma Matchbox Transit with reproduction cargo the only marks I can find on this is above the headlights I've had the truck for a while and I just thought I'll get the uh, the cargo for it. Uh, I believe I mentioned a few videos back that I had this uh, orange pipe truck that was in reasonably good condition but missing the black plastic bracket and the pipes. Well, I found the bracket on another one of these trucks that was actually worse than this one so I stole it and glued it to this one. And then I went on eBay and found the uh, reproduction pipes. And I actually, I'm not going to put that in there. Those pipes are just going to go everywhere. I need to find some elastic bands before I put them in there. Let's just put these ones in on the top. Oh, I wonder what I can hear outside. That's a lorry with a chiller unit. No freezer unit, whatever you want to call it, fridge unit. I think the Americans call it a reefer. You do correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Right. Um, anyway, regarding the pipes, I bought a load of red load for the red one. Let's say a load of red ones are not red, they're grey. Actually, these pipes, they do connect together. I did try it out of curiosity. It's not... The truck itself's not in the best condition, but it's the best out of the sort of dozen that I've got. They seem to be a very popular casting. And you can find them... As I used to hear a lot of people say once upon a time, all day long on eBay. 
which basically means you, they're common on eBay. <clears throat> which, in my mind, means that they don't have an, a very high value because of that. Unless it is one that's perhaps mint or mint with a box. Right. So, here's the first of the two bulldozers. Now, I have got, like, half a dozen of these. And four of them are in the box to be sold. And these two, I don't think you'd notice it at first glance, but when you actually look at them, they are in two slightly different shades of red. And apparently Matchbox did used to do that. But yeah, they're reproduction tracks. They fit on there quite nicely, so I'm happy with those. Those are just the two I wanted to keep out of all of them. Yeah, they are actually two um, very slightly different reds. Um, I've actually got two of these, and I don't know where the other one is. I think it's on the floor somewhere. But we've got the big bull bulldozer. Two of these I had in very nice condition, so I bought tracks for both. Although they do like to roll off on these. Uh, also got tracks for the snow track. These are all from the same eBay seller. He had a big old list of... Uh, um, rubber tracks that he had in his stock. So I've got this snow track, which has got snow track in white on the side. I'll just put the other one in the box, I think. But the other one I got has like the lettering um, stamped in at the metalwork rather than a. I think that's a like a transfer. They're not in brilliant condition, but I'd rather look at them with the tracks on than without them. I've had so many of these tracked vehicles from Matchbox of this sort age with no tracks on, in reasonably good condition. I was just fed up looking at them with no tracks. Alright. And we've got this uh, track loader with a scraper on the back from Matchbox. I bought some for, and I've actually noticed that a lot of these bulldozers in this scale, they're. Um, I don't remember if it's Super Kings or King Size or if they used both. King Size, isn't it? Because they always start with a K, the model number. Yeah, I've noticed that the wheelbase spacing is usually the same on all of them. So when you're looking in his list, you should be able to just buy them from a similar bulldozer and they will fit whatever you've got. Because the tracks from that I also bought to go on that because like I said the wheel spacing is exactly the same now, unlike the one from earlier this one's actually got the hook on the back and like I said red wheels instead of grey but the other one is in fairly nice condition so I'm going to buy another set of tracks to go on that one see I don't get it because they are exactly the same apart from the wheel colour and yeah pretty certain if the hook had snapped off you'd see a mark on the back there where it used to be but you can't so I'm going to get a pair of tracks for that one and they are about four quid for a set though well, not the cheapest I mean <laughs> reselling that I'd never get four quid for it but as it's from your own personal collection you know if I can get some another ten years of enjoyment out of it I think it's worth the four quid anywho got one of these now the diecast guy has got another one of these but his is a darker red to this one this is like a ready orange isn't it more of an orange colour I don't know if I should have grabbed that one Pardon me. Now, here's the case bulldozer I had in my collection, which I think looks fine as it is, without the cab. And then there's that one with the cab, <laughs> which I think actually looks just as nice. I think it looks just as nice without. I don't know why the wheels are different colours though. That's got red and that's got yellow. So at some point I want to go on eBay and order another set of these green tracks. So I'll put them on this one. If I don't decide to just swap the yellow cab over. Um, and a set of black tracks for the other one. 
I'll just go through my um, purchase list, I think, and find them there. Or look through his list of tracks because they are listed for those red bulldozers. He does have them. Right. Let's just keep going. Let's not pause, let's just keep going. Big box. <laughs> This was actually 20 quid and I found it on Marketplace. It took me two attempts to go and collect it though because uh, I couldn't find the address the first time. It was actually hidden right down in the corner and Google Maps on my phone was not very helpful. The house number I wanted was not the house number it was saying it was on the actual map. You know, I needed one house number but the house shown on the map was actually number 24 and not the one I wanted. Nowhere near the one I wanted. But yeah, anyway, I went back today. Very understanding of people, actually. Um, I wonder what that is. Yeah, this is like, apparently just a big old clear out and they just had this box of cars, probably for their grandkids and they're not interested anymore. Um, but I did see some in the top of this that I was interested in but other than that I haven't really looked at this properly it's hard to see in the photos but I did see a couple that caught my eye like uh, the bulldozer I wasn't sure if that was matchbox or not I don't think it is pretty certain it's not uh, I'll have a quick made in China. But is it in nice condition? I don't know, I just think they have a thing for bulldozers at the minute. Oh, it's got something all over it there. I have got no room in that box, so I'm going to have to try and pile it all up over here. Uh, what else? This one caught my eye as well. Which is actually broken, so that might have... I've already got this, but it's just the fact it's majorette, that's what caught my eye. That'll have to go in the uh, scrap yard. It's a bit rough. And it's got the rear bit missing. The rear panel. <laughs> How the whole panel is missing like that, I don't know. Uh, what we got? I have to say, even though this is for Disney's cars, that is actually a nice model. It's all metal. The whole thing, including that, is all metal. That's got a fair bit of weight to it as well. Who makes it? Well, it doesn't give the character name. It just a Chevrolet and Parlor, and this just one doesn't have a character name. And oddly, the base is screwed to the bottom, even though it's a toy. They don't usually do that with actual toys. You know, so kids can't pull them apart. That's why they rivet them together. So, a sticker on the roof I'm going to try and remove. That's a Welly, it's a Mercedes. C33 AMG, I think it's 33. Not a bad looking car. I feel I'm going to get my uh, 20 quid's worth out of this, you know, I don't plan on keeping everything. So we've got another, I think this is another welly. Is that a welly? Let's get that stupid bloody silly sticker on the bottom of this one. There we go. No, it's not welly. Kinsmart. Chrysler PT Cruiser. Copyright DCC. I don't know if I'll keep that one or not. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a slot car. <laughs> that's so cool. Little Mario slot car. See? OK. 
Okay, so I'm guessing the do the um, grandparents' dog may have uh, chewed that. <laughs> Bit of a shame. Never mind. I've got this, which I've got a feeling is Thomas the Tank Engine. Yep. Yeah, made by Mattel. Let's go with a, a lorry. Don't know if the other half of it is in here, but I've got that half at least. Ah yes, this caught my eye as well. I think I might have the cab to this one. Or a cab for it. If it's not in here. Interstate double freighter, yes, yeah, so there's another trailer to go with this. Matchbox major pack. But yeah, that trailer uh, caught my eye. So did this, just because it looked a bit, I bet that's Barago, isn't it? Yep, yeah, Suzuki Vitara. So I'm going to keep that as well. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring the camera in a bit. That's better. So I'm sort of moved further away, didn't I? Um, Mercedes lorry. I think whatever I don't want. Oh, I see. It was a street sweeper. It's just missing the body for it. Yeah, I think whatever I don't want, I'm going to put in a box and probably donate to charity because I don't think. Um, it's worth selling. Is that Matchbox? What is Matchbox? The tractor player. Well, matchbox that I didn't have, so that one will be a good keeper. That one's actually in very nice condition. I'll have to check it with the other one that I've got. But I think they're both in the same sort of condition. There's a bit of an ironic label on it. I think that's a Fiat Panda. From Barago, that's uh Yep, it's a Fiat Panda, but look. It's got total written on the side. Look at the state of it. <laughs> yeah, a bit ironic, isn't it? The headlights are broke. Oddly, I like it. I'm going to keep that because I do like all of keeping all of these anyway. And I'm going to see if I can't find a pair of doors for it because it's not in bad shape. The one with that particular sticker on. I've got a few of them. The rest are all shite. That isn't a problem. I can repair that. I'm not fussed about the antenna either. Yeah, that just needs to go on back up there, but at least the rest of it is intact. I'll go with me AA one and the police one. They're all in roughly the same condition. I will just glue the uh, light bar back down. I don't think something like that's worth putting on eBay. I might as well just put out a box for charity. I'm not sure about that because I kind of like it. <laughs> I yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Oh, got the file chief to go with it. Yeah, I'm going to put those two in a box. If I remember rightly, that is a Maisto helicopter. I used to get loads of these when I was kid growing up. So that will be kept. And again, there's another one. 
as my little brother would call it, it's just fodder, this sort of stuff, you know, just fill a crap that you don't, that no one really wants. It's a very tatty looking corgi, I think. Oh, it's a corgi growler. Oh, there you go, I don't know if you heard that. Got it stuck. I've got a few of those. That one's not in the best shape though, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Another funky little thing. The weird thing is, charity shops can always sell stuff like this. I guess it's when the kids go in with parents. Mum, can I have this car? It's 50p. <laughs> ah, that looks like, I bet that's Paw Patrol. Can't see, but that does. That's got a little paw on the front, so I bet that's something to do with Paw Patrol. Again, it's not my cup of tea, but I'm sure a um, kid going out to a charity shop would uh, appreciate it. There's something else. I mean, we're not really, me and Mum are not really doing car boots anymore, so I don't see the point in just chucking it in a box for a car boot. Same with that. I'd rather donate it to charity. Besides, with the car boots, or the Alsham car boot that I've been to recently, there's loads of stores that have boxes full of a sort of die cast like that that the kids love. So this one's actually that's a Hot Wheels. I know it's a fantasy truck, but I like that. Oh, I can extend it back. So I will keep that one. I've said before I don't mind some Is this original? That is. For a second there, I thought this had been painted. This isn't. This is original. I've never seen that before in my life. But that is definitely original. Is that a little bit like a Ferrari sign? No. I'm intrigued. Now well, it's definitely not been repainted or anything because that rivet's not been drilled. So I thought someone had done a custom at first. That one's going to stay aside. I didn't see that in there. I saw the white one. I think there's a couple of normal white ones. That... I should give that to my stepdad, shouldn't I? <laughs> or should I put it in Cat's box? Ooh. <laughs> Just for the giggles. I don't know. Oh, this is nice. I don't know who made it, but it's nice. Let's have a look. It's like Hot Wheels. Yeah, it is Hot Wheels. 1982, I believe that is. Why is it on these older Hot Wheels? The paint seems so much thicker than it is nowadays. Oh, that's a shame. It's lost its grill. Never mind. It's still a nice vehicle to have. Uh, that's another one I don't need. I've got plenty of it. I've got a few of them. They're all in roughly the same condition, so I'm not, that's not what I'm terribly fussed off. Corgi school bus. Another keeper. Oh, yep, that's Corgi. I was going to say I've got this one, but I haven't. This one's a slightly different version. My other one, the other one I've got, the uh, plastic bit here, the sort of little plastic insert, is actually white, not yellow. That one's an actual yellow one, so... I've got two versions of it now. Uh, 
a Siku tractor minus its cab and painted wheels. Ah, that one's still got its stickers on that trailer. I have got a cab for it, so that's a bonus as well. Nice. Corgi Ford Mustang in all, pardon me, in orange. I have got this one, but it's in rough shape. This one's in really nice condition. So, another bonus. Oh, I've got a few of these. I've got a big hole in it. <laughs> that one, I think I'm going to put in my scrap box. Just for the... Okay, it won't... It's actually stuck in that position. Okay. Got a nice bright pink Volkswagen Beetle. Oh. I was rolling the wheels around because I was convinced it would have a friction motor, but it hasn't got it. Missing the roof though. That's a cool. Why is that wet? Oh, I remember why. Yeah, that's a corgi. And I have got a couple of these, but guess what? Not as nice as this one. That one's in very good condition. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely even. It's better I can't even spit my words out. <laughs> um. I think I'm definitely going to get my money's worth out of this, despite what I plan to donate to charity. Whoops. So this has lost its headlights, unfortunately, a bit of the bumper. That's a welly. I probably won't keep that. I think that's another one. For charity. That's another one for charity. That's a fantasy Hot Wheels that I'm not really a you know, a fan of. Some fantasy stuff I am and then some stuff I'm not. Depends. That one's a keeper. I did see this in the top of the box. I was like, oh, that's a definite keeper. Um, so I'm, I, I can never tell my American truck, so I don't know if it's a Chevy or a Ford. I'm going to go with... I'm keeping Matchbox in the one. That's going to be a Chevy. Yep. Chevy half ton. Chevy AD half ton. Park Patrol. National Parks. Forest Ranger. US 1130. All that attention to detail for what's essentially a toy. That's what I like about Matchbox. They still do it today because that is a relatively modern truck, that one. Or a modern release. Is that a micro machine? No, but it's something similar to micro machines. I did have a load of original micro machines, but like a buck, I went and sold them. And then wish I hadn't. Never mind. I think someone got hungry with that hook, don't you? That one would actually look nice in my scrapyard. That's where that one's going to go. That one's got some bent wheels. But it might be worth keeping it for that, because it is complete. And you do find these quite a lot with the forks missing. Okay. SWAT police. That's an interesting little bike. <laughs> Anything else? Not my cup of tea though, so I'm going to the box for cherry. Okay, I've got a big dent in the roof. It's not worth keeping that one, is it? <laughs> um, oh, this is. This is uh, my first matchbox.
Yeah. Back thick. I can't remember if it was the 1980s or the 1990s. Matchbox had a thing where they made their cars like this. All colourful, colourful wheels, colourful base. They put loads of numbers and letters on them. We called it My First Matchbox. And I have got a little collection of these growing. So and that is actually in very nice condition. They basically took all their regular trucks. Because I've got the My First Matchbox version of this as well. So they took all their regular vehicles that they were doing. And then just changed the paintwork on them. I'm not going to actually sort them out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep yet. Because... I haven't got the space. Uh, but yeah, that's in nice condition, so I will keep that. That's a coolie. It's a Mercedes, and it's got the windows smashed, unfortunately. But it's a coolie I don't have, so as I don't have it, I will keep hold of it for the time being until I find a better version. What's this? Was this for that tractor? Is this Siku? No, it's Earl. I've got like a little uh, Earl tractor hopper wagon thing. Uh, a Majorette caravan? My second one of these, and I do like to keep these because they're nice to display with cars when I get my display sorted. Still so much to sort in this flat. That looks like a corgi. Yeah, it is. This little beach buggy thing. Yeah, that'll be a cherry box donation. Uh, possibly the same with this one. Oh, it's a welly. That's very cheap, even for welly. Welly usually feel a bit better than that. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. I might have to start um, flipping coins, I think. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, I think things like this would actually sell in a charity shop, because if I was like four or five years old, I'd probably love cars like this. But as an adult collector, not so much. Here's a truck from like one of them cheap Chinese gift set things. But this is actually this feels somewhat decent. I felt a lot worse. It's actually quite nice looking as well. They've put some effort into that. That one, I, that one, I will keep. That's Mobile, and again, you know, just a generic Chinese model. That'll probably end up in the charity box, same as that, well, an orange one this time. Well, I just found the cab for that trailer. Don't know if that's the original paintwork. Can't. No, it's not. It has been painted. Someone's done a custom job on that one. Got plenty of these. Mind you, that is in fairly good condition. See, it's what I'm amazed at, you know, this is obviously their grandkids' box, but there is some old stuff in here that's in pretty nice condition. start piling them up over here. Really. Now that's lost its back. This is a shame. Oh, another helicopter from Matchbox. <laughs> We've got the news one. Awesome. That's a definite keeper. That's the rider. It's in rough shape, but I don't think I have that particular truck. It's a Corgi. I mean, I'm pretty certain I don't have that particular truck. Uh, 
got a set of forklift forks. <laughs> what they came off of. Okay, just for the giggles, that's going to go in with all my scrap vehicles. <laughs> Someone had some fun with some paint at least. You all the glass is gone. Um, the base is still good, and I do have a couple where I broke the base on it. Um, fixing the windows, because the windows have dropped out, so... This is unusual. I'm not sure what to make of that. I think it's got a friction motor on it. Who is it made by? I have a lot of Ford badge on the nose of it. Motor Tamika. Oh. 1995 Tomy. Oh, I might have to get this working. It's got a switch. It's electric. It's got a switch on the back. Oh, I do hope there's not got a corroded battery in it. BMW. Is that a Welly? Because I have got a few from Welly. Not a white one though. Yeah, be a WX5. As it's next five, if I stick police on it in blue lights and I've got a police replica. Um, the Met Police like to use the X5s. So let's see. I think I've got a couple of diversions of this bus. A couple of diversions. That was excellent grammar. A couple of versions of this bus. Not the fire rescue team one though. That would be care, but there's another one that can... Yeah, that'll go in the donation box. I mean, I suppose a lot here I could have put on a car boot sale if I could be bothered to do a car boot sale. I must have lost its back as well. Could make a custom truck with it. I mean, we've got a good chassis cab there, so... All I'd have to do is find a body of some sort to glue to the back of it. Ow! <laughs> Punch the box. Oh, hello. Oh, this has got a grab on it. And it's a Siku. Now, something like that almost <laughs> makes this box worth a 20 quid on its own. I'll have to see it. An old husky as well. That is literally like a toy model of one of those kids' battery ride-on cars. Always wanted one of those battery ride-on cars when I was a kid and I never got one. Quite read what it says. Two thousand and seven Mattel Polly Pocket. Ah, there's a little Polly Pocket car. Look at that. It's even got the safety bar in there, like it's a fairground toy. Um, ride. Do you know, that is that interesting. I might actually keep that one. Well, I find it interesting anyway. What the... Uh, that one I don't. I just find that a turd. A weird turd. I think I have that. I'm not sure. It's a shame it's got the thing missing on the back. Oh, and I've got these, this style in a few colours, but I don't know if I've got the red one. Some more older matchbox here that's not in the best 
from the dish in the bottom of this is all wet because the bottle leaked everywhere. Uh, that does not look familiar to me, so I might have to keep that. It's a matchbox though. Again, I've got both of these, so you know, I suppose I could chuck like that one in the yeah, I will, because it's got a wheel broken. So that can go in the scrapyard box. Ah, oh, there's the white one I was talking about. I've got a few of, but I really do like these. Dinky little plastic thing. No idea. We're getting there, we're getting, I can see the bottom. That's a Motor Max, and I actually quite like that one. Yeah, that's a little matchbox, but it's missing the gun turret and everything on it, unfortunately. I'm sure that's in a different shade of red to my other ones, so. In fact, I know it is. So that'll be kept. Or Corgi Ford. Yeah, I've got that as well. Don't need that. Some more little plastic cars. There's actually a few of these in the bottom of this. Dropping my magnifier on the floor. I just want to know what this uh, dump truck was. A truck. <laughs> All it says. <laughs> yeah, there's no brand. This is actually screwed together as well. It doesn't even say dump truck, it just says truck. P386. I have got that. Have I got a tea towel lying around here or even just an old shirt? I could use the shirt I'm wearing actually because I don't need to go in the wash. You know, I've got a few of these as well so I don't need that either. That one's actually missing both the roof and the windshield. Might be not to put bottles of Dr. Pepper in here that are leaking. Um, not something. We've got some things. And a couple of people. Yeah, that caravan's definitely seen better days. That's the second uh, relatively mullered corgi caravan. The other one's got shattered windows in it. Otherwise, I would have tried to have, you know, made a good one out of the pair. What's this one? Oh, that's a Corgi. Mercedes Benz. I quite like that one. I wouldn't mind doing a repaint and tidying that one up. Just uh, bear with me for a second, I'm going to find an old t-shirt or something because that's getting quite, uh, quite wet. I'm going to end up with a soaking wet leg otherwise. That's another one. I know I've got one of these but I'm going to keep that as well. Any luck I might come across the canopy. I don't need that one. I've got it. And these do sell on eBay, so it would be an eBay one. Oh, that's just another one that can go on. Um, I'll think of it in a minute. In the charity box. Another dinky one, charity box.
paint works quite nice on that one. Missing the front though, unfortunately. Another caravan here. Can't remember who it's made by, but we've got another caravan. Doesn't say anything on the base either. Sight hut truck, I've got plenty of these, don't need no more. Ah, we have got a complete one of these. So many of these I come across, and all this back bit is all broken off. And we've got a little Siku trailer here. Here's another one I've got. We will not find a Lego tyre. <laughs> Again, I've got this one, another Rollomatics Range Rover. Ooh, gotta keep that though. Yeah, is that a Renault Kangen? Michelin Tarvan? Yep, yeah, Renault Kangoo. Majorette? Oh! I thought that was gonna be Matchbox, no? Majorette, okay. I'm pretty certain this is a Matchbox bulldozer and it's complete with tracks. And cab. Yep, all I've got to do somehow <laughs> I don't know how they managed to do it, I'll show you in a second. Hang on, let me just try and get one track into place. If it's going to let me. Get one end on, then the other end falls off. Yeah, I don't quite know how they've managed to get that in there. Um, yeah, I've got a track here that doesn't want to stay on. Yeah, it's got all the cab and the blade and everything with it. That's officially, it's now the second one. Like this that I've got. Ah, there we go, I've got it out. Stretch the track on. Hopefully, come on. Okay, tracks are on. Yeah, the other one I got has got the red cab because I did a load with red cabs and things. And the front loaders with the red bucket. But there we go. What is that? Yeah, it's a Nova car. That's what it was, ambulance. Metal chassis, plastic body, they just sort of did things in reverse. And look at that, I've got another Mark 1 Transit from Matchbox. Got one of those cranes with cat written on the cab. No idea. I've actually got that, so. Need this. It's like a matchbox copy, but isn't matchbox. It looks like someone tried to do a matchbox copy. What's this? This is a Siku. 
These are actually quite expensive. No, this is a majorette, sorry. That's very nice. Try out running that. Okay, ambulance. Matchbox ambulance. Now I did see this one in the photo and that did catch my eye. all around now. That's another one I've got a couple of so I wouldn't need to keep that one. I will keep that one. Majorette Renault. Okay, so the back wheels are absolutely caked in something. I'm not sure I want to know what it is. On top has got broken, but the rest of it worked. There's another little thing for the cherry shop box. Quite a few little things I can do. That one will probably go on eBay with the uh, Duda, the Beetle. I've even got a uh, Morris Miner that I can put with them. Big main bulldozer. Is that a matchbox? What is? Terrain Transfer, copyright 2012. That's another little. Uh, Slot car. Big truck. <laughs> Very big truck. That's another one I got because I did buy the set of these myself just to see what they were like. Uh, there's that. That's a Corgi. I have actually got one, maybe two of these. I can't remember. I've got at least another one of these, so. Don't need that one. Another bit of fodder for the charity shop. I don't think I've got one with that coloured chassis on it. I'll have to have a look in my box. Matchbox truck here, minus a body. Oh, another ideal custom there. I thought it was. I've got another um, to make it. Oh my god, they actually call it a dust cart. I thought that was only a British thing. <laughs> they actually call it a dust cart. open this up and just see what batteries they take. They are screwed together. So I've got a couple of those. They're interesting. Ford Escort. It's just the most common version of that one from Matchbox. Uh, oh, cord. I thought that said Ford. No, I don't know who made this, but... I like oh, it's a little welly. little car, I like that. That's a shame this one's in the condition it's in, because that's the right scale for your, your OO gauge railway. We'll put that one in with all the scrap, because at least I've got a set of uh, blue lights for the roof from it, if I wanted to do a custom. There's another one from that set thing, I've already got that. Um, yeah. Got a little Batmobile. 
And then the rest of it is just shite, basically. Got cow. Moo. Uh, yeah, the rest of it is just tiny little cars like this is one, two, three, four, five, another six, and then just a few other bits of crap. Probably the best one out of all of them actually. I have to wipe the bottom of this box before I put everything back in, so... No, there's mess in the bottom. I don't know. Is it? I wish I had something I could have. Just give that a dry out, I might be temporarily chuck that one back in. I'll probably do that off camera because I'll sort it into two different piles. Well no, I'm just off camera, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere, not yet. Oy. As I've got boxes of stuff I don't want already in the bedroom, I think I'll just put what I want in here. Yeah, I know it's getting close to your dinner time, isn't it, my little lady? Yeah. It's alright, I'm not going to finish the video, then I can feed you. So, uh, let's get you back on to my mug. There we go. So, Thanks a lot for watching everyone, I do apologize, it's been quite a long video. I hadn't actually planned to uh, have this much. <laughs> it was like a last minute um, fetch, you know. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. If you like the video then please give it a like. If you didn't give it a dislike, um, Please consider subscribing, it's totally free to do so. If you hit the notification bell when you subscribe, you'll um, get notified every time I upload a video. All for free. Hello, sweetie. Oh, that's unlike her. That's very unlike her, actually. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, video description that was the next bit yeah if you check the video description I will have oops, links in there to my other two YouTube channels uh, my discord server and my twitch channel so feel free to check those out and maybe consider subscribing and joining and whatnot and uh, we'll see you all in the next video bye